Little Tea Studio presents Clay Tips and Tricks. So what I like to do is make color chips. This allows me to catalog all the different colors of clay that I have and allows me to easily find them. So for example, this one is Fimo 10 in yellow and I just come to my drawer and there it is. I also make color chips for my custom polymer clay colors. It's important to write down these color recipes so you don't forget them and then you want to store them somewhere separate from your regular colors so you don't get them mixed up. I store mine in this Rubbermaid container with labels that I've made. This is my favorite tip. Anyone who's worked with clay knows that dust is your enemy, but you can avoid having a problem with dust on your pasta maker by putting a shower cap over it. You can get them free at hotels. And then I just use the handle to help hold it down in the back. To get clay pigment off of your hands, it's important to have a linen towel to wipe your hands on. You can see the before and the after. It definitely works. I work on a self-healing mat with measurements. This makes it easy for cutting clay and also making sure you have the right size. Now some people work directly on their mat, which is what I did with my first mat, and then found it got all gooky. So now I use parchment paper. You can reuse parchment paper or when it gets gooky too, just crumple it up and throw it away. It's really important to keep your tools clean, especially cutters. Clay can get stuck up in the top of this little bead of metal, and when you're cutting, it will transfer clay onto other pieces of clay. Not what you want. This completes part one of Little T Studio's tips and tricks. Check out my YouTube channel for part two. Visit my website, littleteastudio.com, for awesome supplies. Thank you for watching, and happy crafting!